days that you're gonna throw, you're gonna set up your own bucket. So in your bucket, you'll fill it a little bit with water. Doesn't matter, cold or warm. A little sponge. This is called a rib tool. It's for cleaning things off and for shaping. If you get really good at throwing powder, you can use tools to do that. There should be a wire cutter over here that you guys will all share. And then over here on the shelf, this is a bat. You need this to get it off of there. It's got a shiny side and a textured side. You want the texture side up. And then there's little nuts on here that you want them to lock into place. So you're gonna do this, get it all situated, and then you're gonna need clay. I'll try and have some prepared back here. It might not necessarily already be prepared into a little ball, but if it isn't, then you just kind of tap and make it as round as you can. All right, so the most important part of throwing on the wheel is getting it centered. So as much as you can get it in the middle of here, the better. So you're gonna take it, stand up, and hit it right to the middle, and then you smack it a couple times to make sure it functions on there, okay? So on the side of the wheel is a little light, a switch, you gotta make sure it's on. If you're a righty, you'll put the pedal on your right-hand side. If you're a lefty, you put it on the left-hand side, you might want to let me know because I can reverse the way that the wheel is going. It'll be easier for you. If you have long hair, you want to tie it up. If you wear bracelets or scrunchies or watches, rings, you want to take them off. Okay, then you're going to sit with your knees straddled as close as you can. You can kind of practice spinning the wheel at different speeds. You can slow it down fast. So the pedal depends, it's kind of like driving a car, like, not that you guys have done that, but push down the accelerator, it's gonna go faster. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your hands really wet and put the clay all over it so it feels slippery, okay? And you're gonna spin it. You wanna lock your hand one perpendicular to the other, like this. And that's gonna try to get it in the middle. So I'm pushing down and I'm pushing towards the middle at the same time. You can see my hands are kind of moving all the way around. See them all wobbling. It's not centered yet. A lot of times, once I get it going, I'll give it a big squeeze as it's spinning. And I'll bring that peak up, and then I'll push it back down, doing that technique again. You can see my elbow's locked into my leg, so it's not moving all the way around. So then when your hands stop moving all over the place, like mine are right now, that means it's centered. If you don't get it centered, your project will all flop and break, okay? So a lot of times when I'm teaching this class, I'll, I'll help you get it centered at first, okay? I wanna make sure it is. If your hands start getting goopy like this with slip, you can take and scrape them on the side of the bucket. You're going to want to wear an apron for this so they hang right there on the, the shelving unit. So once it's centered, you're going to take your non-dominant hand. I'm, I'm a righty, so my left hand's going to support it. My right thumb is going to push a hole right down in the middle. Now the hole starts to feel sticky, so then you're going to pour a little water in there with your sponge. You don't want to go all the way to the bottom because then you'll have a flower pot instead of a bowl. Okay? You don't want a hole in the bottom of your bowl. So you go all the way down, but not all the way through to the bat. Then I'm gonna take my thumb like a hook and I'm gonna pull it towards me. And that's gonna open up the hole. And I'm still supporting with the other hand. Now the next thing, you're gonna switch hands. This is gonna be my supporting hand and this one here, I'm gonna push the clay between the two and smush and pull up. So I'm gonna go down at the bottom and then I'm gonna drag my hand slowly up. It's almost hard to see that I'm doing that. In the middle of the bowl, you'll wanna keep it smooth. So you kind of flatten it out and you wanna bring the clay to the edge so I'm kind of moving things. You wanna come over here and um, kind of hover above the clay, Fezzy? All right, so I'm gonna pull my fingers and then I'm moving them to the side and then I'm squish, squishing the bottom and bringing the clay base up. And I wanna go really slow when I do that so that it's nice and even. 
And when the clay starts to feel like it's sticking, get some more of that water. If it starts to splash all over, take your sponge and kind of sop some of that up. So I'm gonna keep going until it's the size that I want it to be. And so the, the sides of the, the clay wall are not too thick. So you can see down here, that needs to be smooth. You can squeeze out a sponge and use that as a tool to kind of blend that nice and even. You can clean up the edge of your, your bowl. You can clean up the outside. If you want stripes or something intentional, you can take a tool and put those on there. I will also come by and clean up the foot. So I'll take my rib tool and get some of the excess clay to come off. And then when it's totally done, you'll take this, or I will, and I'll cut it off the bat. This will just release it for next time. You have to then pick the bat up off of here, okay? Then I want you to write your name in the clay. All right, once it's like that, you can see my stripes. I can clean those up tomorrow. You're just gonna take your project and set it here. Now, because we have class day after day without A day, B day schedule, you'll be able to do all sorts of things. You can applique on that. You can score and slip a handle. You can carve into it. You can use slip and squirt slip onto the outside, like slip trailing. So you have lots of different options, okay? You'll also be expected to car um, carve your name into the bottom, smooth it all up, and wash this, and I'll have a dish rack in the sink. So you just kind of wipe it with a sponge and let it dry. For cleanup of this, all of this stuff here, this extra clay, can go in a slip container, because that's what it is. You're gonna dump all of the water out of here. You're gonna grab a big sponge. So all of this gets all washed at the sink. And then you're also gonna have to, have to clean up the wheel itself. So once this is all wiped and cleaned out, you can bring it back with fresh water if you want to. But this is how you clean the wheel. Nice big sponge. Don't run the wheel with the sponge on it because that'll tear these things up. And then you're gonna get this all out. And then once you have it kind of good like this, you're gonna rinse your sponge and come back and do it one more time. Okay, so it's nice and clean. And that's it, that's thrown on the wheel.